Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at a 120 watt solar panel from Browie. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got. Okay, when you first open it, it's covered in bubble wrap and it's got some, uh, some cushioning on the sides. Let's go ahead and pull it out. And there it is. Here is the front of the solar panel. It's got a nice nylon handle with rubber, uh, with a, like a rubber grip. And the back of the solar panel has really nice thick Velcro to uh, keep it nice and secure. And then also, here's one of the legs. The legs seem like they're pretty, pretty strong, but once we get it outside, we'll really be able to see it. But it does say that this leg, it does say that this leg will keep the, uh, the solar panel at a 45 degree angle. And I'm guessing there's two of them. Yep, here's the other one right here. Okay, let's go ahead and look inside here. And inside this pouch, there is a uh, user's manual that tells you all about the solar panel. So that's good. Uh, it looks like it comes with two uh, carabiners, which is nice. That way you can like, you can connect them uh, like to your, to the top of your tent. It comes with some sort of cabling and it comes with a whole slew of adapters, which is nice. And then there's like a little charge, like a little charge box right here that it looks like it has two uh, quick charge USB A's and it has a USB-C, which I think is rated up to 45 watts. And then here's the plug for the DC, for the DC cord. That goes to, uh, you know, your power station. And then inside the sleeve, it gives you all the information about the solar panel. What the model number is, the BR120W. Uh, it's a solar power, it's 120 watts. The USB output, it tells you all the voltages that it can do. And then the, the USB-C output, it gives you all the voltages with a max of 45 watts. The DC output is 18 volts at 6.67 amps maximum. Unfolded, this unit is 167 by 36 by 1 centimeter. That would be 65.7 inches by 14.1 inches by uh, 0.4 inches. And then when it's folded, it's 52 and a half by 36 by 3.5 centimeters. That equates to 20.5 inches by 14.1 inches by 1.3 inches thick. Uh, it does have a little bit of caution and then how to contact uh, Browie. It also has these little support straps inside so you can keep your stuff from falling out as soon as you unzip it. Let's go ahead and extend out this solar panel and see what it looks like. Okay, here's what the panel looks like completely unfolded. I just have it resting up against the back of my bench. Um, it does have that ETFE coating, so it is, I believe, IP65 water rated, so um, you can keep it outside all the time. And since it's that ETFE coating, uh, it should last a lot longer than your less expensive uh, foldable solar panels. The one thing that I do like about it is it's 120 watts, so it has four separate panels. And each of the panels has its own leg in the back, has its own stand. So that should give it a lot of, a lot more support when it's on the ground. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and pack this thing back up and just go ahead and take it right outside and see what kind of power we can produce. All right, well, it is high noon on a nice sunny day. There's a little bit of, uh, little bit of haze, but not bad. And I've got the uh, 120 watt solar panel set up so let me go ahead and bring you around and kind of show you what kind of uh, power we're getting and what i like and what i don't really like about this solar panel here is the back of the solar panel and like i said before it is really nice that it has four separate feet one for each panel so that way you can get a nice straight line pointing towards the sun so that I really like, that is a great design. I've seen others where there's only a leg on each side and this thing is all wobbly. So I really like that. Secondly, when we're getting to the power part, you can see that on, you probably can't see it very well, but it is, we're getting a hundred watts of solar right now being input into this LumaPal. So on a February day, it's pretty much still winter, 
and we're getting 99 to 100 watts from a 120 watt solar panel, um, that's pretty good in my book. I would say in a few months, I'd be able to get really close to 120 watts out of this panel. Uh, some things that I really wish were a little bit better. This thing, I like, I like that it has its own bag down here. Uh, let me see so you can see it a little bit better. Uh, but then in order to keep it kind of waterproof, you have to keep it zipped. And it actually took me a, a couple of tries just because the cord kept on popping out of the, uh, of the little controller that's in here that has the USB ports and everything. I mean, I like the fact that it's like that because, you know, if water does get in here, it runs down this way and it won't get into those ports. But I just wish that the, the plug was a little tighter because it just kept popping out on me. And also the items that are in there, they have those straps to keep them in place. But as soon as you kind of set it up a little bit, those things tend to just fall out. So I would take them out and put them somewhere else uh, because they tend to just fall out as soon as you get this thing all set up and trying to wire everything up. Also, uh, it does have a couple of carabiners on this side, but not on this side. I don't know if that's really a big deal. I'd really have to really try it out, but I wish I could have two sets, one on this side and one on this side, so that way I could kind of strap it horizontally across my, uh, you know, across my tent or something like that and not vertically, because right now you can only strap it from this side hanging hanging down so and then also this little strap right here you just it's not that big of a deal but you have to make sure it's tucked in because if it's if it's just sitting like this the wind could easily blow it and now we're down to 73 watts so it basically takes out all the production of this panel by having this thing flapped over so you're losing about you're losing about 25 percent of your power just if this flap gets flapped over Okay, so what do I think of the 120 watt monocrystalline foldable solar panel from Browie? I like it. Um, I like how it's very portable, how it folds up into a very small footprint. It's actually producing really good power right now. It's producing 100 watts out of the 120 that it's rated for on a February day. I like the fact that it comes with all these additional adapters, but the one thing I do wish is that it came with an, an 8 millimeter adapter. Uh, because I was going to bring my Blue Eddy EB3A out here and I didn't have an adapter in this set to fit it. And then also the, uh, the port on the back of the panel, I just wish it was a little bit more snug somehow because uh, there has been a few times when I've been trying to just kind of zip up the, the, uh, the back storage unit or just messing around with it, just adjusting stuff slightly and that cord will come out. So I just wish it was in there somehow clipped in or something or maybe just a little tiny a uh, wire, wire holder that you could kind of clip the wire into. So that way it just gives it that little extra, little extra snug. So, but overall, this thing will work for you uh, if you need a portable solar panel. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you have any questions about this Browery 120 watt monocrystalline foldable solar panel, go ahead and leave them in the comments. Um, I'll leave a link to this in my description uh, if you want to look into it further. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.